Hi, this is Justin with Seaboard Marine. Today we're going to show you how we put together the steering system for this 27 foot rat in here. Okay, so a little note on the geometry of the ram and the tiller. You'll notice here that when the ram is locked, we're set up here to do a 90 degree lock to lock, 45 either side. We have a seven inch stroke. What's important here is that when we set the ram up, it is perpendicular to a bow stern line right down the middle of the boat. When it's at either of the lock positions. So in other words, a lot of people make the mistake of setting it here straight across when it really needs to be here perpendicular to that bow stern line. And I can illustrate that here. So here's a good design geometry. We have a 3D model here. And you can see it cycles through nicely when the steering is at any of these positions. It's always a good angle here. And even at the extreme, there's a nice angle between the tiller and here so that this can't go past that point and I'll show you if you put this too far out you can see what could happen is you come over here and all of a sudden there's not a whole lot stopping this from snapping past that point do now is trying to do this you got to square that plate to the shaft We got the rudder shaft machined with a taper to fit into the uh, rudder itself. We've got the rudder set in here with some blocks just to hold it to the approximate height. Okay, so here's our ram. We have a 178 millimeter or seven inch stroke, and the total volume or displacement of the stroke is 108 cc, 188 cc's. If you look at the helm pump that we're using, um, it's 35 cc's per revolution. So if you divide 188 divided by 35, you get 5.37 turns of the wheel to go from lock to lock, from hard to port to hard to starboard.
One major design consideration when you're building these steering systems is the issue of galvanic corrosion with dissimilar metals. So as you can see here we have a brass base for the ram that mounts to the aluminum plate so you have two dissimilar metals there and then we also have the steel base plate for the self-aligning bearing for the rudder shaft and so um, it's really important that we isolate these and so what we have here is a piece of quarter inch starboard mounted between the base plate and the steering plate here the, the, the big plate and then actually in this case Frank went ahead and put in a um, it's hard to see here but a little bit of fiberglass sheet that we have I brought an example of it here this fiberglass sheeting and uh, it can be cut to make uh, spacers and shims and we also have some quarter inch starboard here so um, some sort of non-conductive plastic or fiberglass material between Tony recommends the starboard because it's great stuff it's easy to work with and it's easy to find